All right, test, 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 test. <clears throat> And we are back <laughs> on Convincing Idiots. That's right. We couldn't leave you for long. We mm -mm. would never dare. I am Nick. I'm a millennial. I'm here Nick. with my co-hosts, Gen X Brian and Zenial Dean. And we are discussing something that is very near and dear to our hearts. We are discussing uh, fall preview. Okay, so... I assume that probably means what are some, maybe some movies, TV shows you guys are looking forward to in the fall. Mm -hmm. Could be anything, really. What What about the fall time? The fall time is special, you know? So what uh, What are some things that we're looking forward to? And um, so let's let's get started with Brian. Brian, what are you looking forward to? We got pumpkin spice lattes on the rise. We got mm. all kinds. The leaves will be falling. The what best else? candles. The best candles. That's mm -hmm. true. That's true. I'm, I'm online. Yeah. I, I did. I just thought of you the day. Like I did actually have a pumpkin, like a, a spice, like foam latte thing from the boyfriend get from the crimson cup over in Tomage Circle. So shit. Yeah, you did. Yep. So it's. Uh, did you this do week, hands as you as you drank them walking down uh, the street this weekend? Uh, this, no, this was just myself for this particular. Uh, so Allie and I, I'll mention real quick. So our first date is coming up on this week. You're Here's finally going to take her on a first date. Nice. Better, better get this. Yeah, I, I need to step it up. <laughs> need to step it Lazy up. Ass. I suppose it's time for us to be seen in public together. <laughs> That's right. Yep. yep. It's been three Fine. years. That's not his choice. That's <laughs> time to let you out. Time to let you out of the basement. You know. <laughs> But, he goes, uh, I'm dating you. I'm already in the basement. That's that's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, figuratively. Uh, so no, but we we our first date was at this coffee shop on, in uh, Thomas Circle. So every year I go up there and I get her a little something from there. So it's some coffee Aww. and a little memento of some sort or whatever. So yeah, Dude, but I got a pumpkin spice. Uh, uh, does she know that, that, that you good. messed up and you were uh, you were you thought you were on the grind wrap and uh, <laughs> you know you swiped left and you know. <laughs> The rest is history. No. Coffee grinder? Uh, no, I want regular <laughs> grinder. That's right. God. <laughs> yep. Lucky for me, it was like grinder. the right direction, even on even if it was uh, by accident. So yeah, it's good. All right. So I'll mention a couple. So uh, there's a few uh, you know, Marvel movies I'm uh, very interested in. I'll, I'll mm -hmm. kind of start there. So in the fall time, I didn't know this was coming until I saw the the uh, the D twenty three Disney thing, but Werewolf by Night. There's a Werewolf by Night special. It looks so to, cool. Yeah. What is that? To, uh, it's, it's it was a comic book, and it's just it's it's a it's a guy who turns into a, a werewolf, and it, um, which but, which alone uh, sounds silly, but Nick, this is done in a very artsy, um, uh, Ed Wood almost type look to it it's black and white it's, mm. it's like a certain amount of people are, are trapped in this house you know locked in or whatever thunderstorms are you know scary and one of them is a werewolf and you got to figure out who it is they got to figure out who it is mm, okay but like the way it's shot and some of the like the, the transitional scenes and stuff it looks super fucking interesting so it's like among us with werewolves yeah a little bit okay yeah it as soon it, Oh yeah, you know when we're done with this, just Google the trailer. Or go to go to Disney Plus and look at the trailer. You'll be hooked. You'll be like, yeah, okay, because it, it's a one shot deal. It's it's not mm -hmm. even limited series. It's just a it's a like a ninety minute show movie esque thing. So okay, yeah, I'm yeah. interested. It's October seventh, and in the comics, I think by the way, that's where if I'm not mistaken, that's where Moon Knight made his debut. Was in the Werewolf by Night series back in the day. Uh, Nick, I know you're looking forward to this as well. Wakanda Forever movie. Yes, uh, November that is on 11th. Line. Yep. Uh, looks great. And the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. That's, that's coming out in later. Mm. Maybe that's not so much a fall thing but a holiday thing, but definitely Werewolf by Nights. If I'm speaking of fall and the 
Black Panther Wakanda. So that's just two to start off there. Uh, the Marvel content looks great. So, okay. yep. Um, I'm going to go with it. I've mentioned it before, but it has to be my first um, Quantum Leap. Mm-hmm. The reboot series starts this coming Monday, September 19th. So if you're listening to this uh, Monday morning, it's happening tonight. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I, I've been a Quantum Leap was my favorite show as a child. And it I, it continues. Nothing really can top it. Like the nostalgia, how good it was, the premise, everything about it. I love Quantum Leap. It wasn't the greatest ending. So to get this reboot and the thought that that that, that they could bring back Scott Bakula because it, it's a new leaper. It's a it's a new cast. Obviously, Dean Stockwell, who played uh, Al Calavici, uh, the hologram. Uh, is dead. You know, he just he passed just a few months ago. So he is unable to. You know, they tried, couldn't get him. So it's a whole new cast, very updated. Like the they have it's the uh, leaper, the, the the physicist leaper, um, Ben Doctor Ben Song is a Asian American, and they have a transgender. Um, uh, programmer of for the show, you know, for the project. So they went, they tried to be very diverse. It looks very cool, very updated. The the leaping effect looks updated. Um, everything about it, I'm very excited. Um, so yeah, so I I couldn't be. It's it's my top of anything going on right now. Marvel, Star Wars, anything. I, I am my family. Every <laughs> my family, <laughs> everything gets put in the back burner. Quantum Leap is uh, is where it's at right now. Nice. Very good, Nick. I've uh, so this next one or first one for me. I'll just start right off the top. From everything I have seen online, I and there's been a lot of hype around this already. Everything I see that, that trickles out, every bit more of content I get, I get a little bit more excited. I cannot wait to see the newest lineup from our friends over at RPM Bike Shop. <laughs> you want an electric bike in your life this autumn to get around to Oktoberfest? Maybe go to some apple orchards, all that cool shit. Maybe go see the foliage. An electric bike is in your future, my friends. All you have to do is search on Facebook for RPM Bike Shop. You can also go to their website, website rpmbikeshop.com, or give them a call at 330-808-7792 to get your hands on your very own electric bike today. So be sure to give them a call, check out their wonderful wonderful products, and uh, you can electrically good. drive into autumn on your very own electric bike from RPM Bike Shop today. RPM Bike Shop. It's electric. Woogie, woogie, woogie. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. Um, additionally, other than RPM Bike Shop's new fall lineup, um, I would also like to uh, shout out. So I only had a couple movies written down. Brian touched on the, the big one for me, Wakanda Forever. I am looking forward to seeing. Brian touches on a lot of big ones. He touches on all the big ones. Um, I am looking forward to seeing uh, the new Avatar movie, uh, Way of the Water, I think it's called. I don't even give a shit. I don't even know. It's like, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I love the first Avatar so much. I don't even know what this one's about. Like, I don't know what's happening. I don't <laughs> you know, know what it's anything. about. Money. I, That's what I it's about. don't care. Give it to me. I want it. I fucking love the first one. I want the new one. I'm excited. It's like the only movie other than Wakanda Forever that I'm like, I'm looking forward to going to see that. So uh, that that's the one for me. Avatar. You know, they are, Nick, they are bringing back the original in the theater soon. Yes. Oh, really? I just heard that. For a nice. limited time. So mm-hmm. if you if you never saw the original in the theater in 3D, yeah, worth I it. would highly recommend anybody the first one. Just the movie itself, I thought, was ridiculous, personally. Ridiculous. Uh, yeah, it was. In my, just my like opinion. It. I've it, never seen no, it. No, but the, just the, the 3D yeah. experience. Listen, the 3D experience of the world that he yeah. created is, and you're immersed in that world. That in itself is worth going to the theater to Maybe see that. Maybe that's what it is. It's a visual thing because it, I mean, 
I guess when you really break down to like the storyline, story I'm not crazy. like, what a great fucking story. Like, it's fine. I was okay with it, but it wasn't like, I'm like, wow, what a well thought out, amazing. I mean, it. Uh, I could, when did I could that, see when, did that when you'd not when did be super impressed. Out? 2009? 10? Okay. Nine? I'll, look it up. I'll look it up. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, 9 or 10. I think See, it was. For, for me, I just saw, I, back then I saw it in, uh, the previews and I'm like, I don't really. 2009. Like, I don't really okay. dig cartoons, let alone do I need to go see an adult cartoon. Says the no, Star so. Wars fan. Okay, that's yeah, interesting. <laughs> no, but no, uh, no. <laughs> the I'm ultimate talk- adult cartoon. <laughs> that's not. I'm not talking about content. I'm talking no, about like it's all CGI and right. You know what I mean? I. But then again, I went and saw that goddamn uh, Lion King reboot, and it was awesome. Yeah. And that was all CGI to make look real. So, but they also, I mean, that's more. I mean, I know it's only been a few years since, but like the advancement that they've t- come to. So maybe yeah. this Avatar it will be like blow everybody out of the water of like how good it is, as in visual. Well, well he, the first he, one was fucking amazing. I mean, it was it's like really he, was. he made it with the intention of three D. It's like so. It's not. Like, it's yeah. like the movie where they, you know, they. They make it, and they know eh, some people's going to see it in 3D, so they'll they'll slap a couple things in there. It seems like where this is flying at you, or this, or that. Yeah. Like the, but the, this was the made Friday the Thirteenth 3D with the with the that sword so and the spear. So you good. Know what? That came by the way. That came with my feed the other day. That that was that there. Some theater is putting that one back out there in 3D, but it's too far away. It's somewhere oh, in Ohio. That'd be oh, so much fun to go see that, that again. Would be put on the old red and blue glasses. Oh, my God. That that would be terrific. But yeah. uh, I do have a home version of that, by the way. You put the 3D glasses on, it does come out at you a little bit. We can watch it mm-hmm. on, the t- on the TV. But I digress. But he made this movie, James Cameron, with the thought of some people are going to go to the theater and see it in 3D and the whole experience. It definitely, you could tell. So, okay. Yeah. yeah, but the second one, I'm like, eh, I'm, I'm with you. I'm just, I, you know, I, I, I'd probably be inclined to go see it just for again, just for the same type of deal for the for the right. experience, experience of the 3D, sure. if, if nothing else. So, okay, makes sense. Very good. Go ahead, Brian, Dan. you got it. Uh, well, um, I have. I just, I mean, my TV stuff. I'm gonna mention two uh, together because they've already been mentioned in this show uh, earlier. Uh, Cobra Kai. It's on now, but we're in the yes. fall, so I'm gonna. Uh, sure, and I haven't seen it yet, so I'm I'm adding it. I can't yep. wait to see that, especially now since you guys reviewed it uh, mm-hmm. highly. So I, I definitely want you know I'm finding some sort of time to to stop and watch it. Um, uh, and Ted Lasso. I I can only mention this because there's no set date. I'm hoping this fall, but it doesn't look like you'd think they would like tell you months in advance so it's not looking good but like the original third season premiere was supposed to be this fall in september mm-hmm. but i don't think that's going to happen but a boy can hope mm-hmm. i got one here guys one of our favorite our collect our, an actor we all is thoroughly enjoy that we has suggested he play if you want to re- reboot something put him in it in any role and we will watch it. We don't care what it is. Uh, the great John Hamm. I kind of forgot this was coming out. So September 6th. So this is coming out like, uh, what is today? The 15th? So like tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow, yeah. I don't know where it is. I can't seem to find it. If it's in the theater, maybe it's in the theater or whatever. But I forgot he's coming back to, in the. and this is actually a reboot, okay, of the famous Chevy Chase character, Fletch. <sighs> From the eighties. Oh yeah. So John that's, Hamm uh, that's is coming, coming out back. now. Yes. So John Hamm is coming back as huh. Fletch. I knew. So, th- I knew it was in the works. I didn't know it was like done and like coming out. So it's huh. called Confess Fletch. So I can't. I don't know if it, I should say. I say it's a reboot. I don't know if it's a reboot or maybe it's just kind of picking up. The, it was a book series, is what it was. Okay. <laughs> so uh, yeah. I'm interested to see John Hamm as Fletch. I mean, Chevy Chase did a great, great job in that role in the '80s. Those the movies, both those actually, both those movies were very good. It wasn't a whole lot of movies where the sequel was 
on right. par with the first one, but that one, right. Fletch Liz was on par with the first one back. I will back watch anything day. John Hamm is uh, is doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you guys, you know, had mentioned earlier how how you Nick you you laid on Brian's tummy mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. for a bit. I want to do that to John Hamm. So sure. you know, I want to see him, you know, looking up from his tummy. You know, <laughs> of course. Such an odd visual, but I, I have it. Regretfully, it's you in there it, now, right? and it's, it's you, there. You yep. can't unhear it. <laughs> you can't unsee it in your mind. It is in there. Mm-hmm. I saw this trailer. There's two trailers I saw that were for creepy movies that's coming out here. So one is called Pearl. Now Pearl is a prequel. I mentioned the movie X that I rented on Amazon Prime, where the kids are trying to find a spot to. I say kids, but they're young people not, uh, looking for a place to film a porno in the 70s. It's set in, and they've picked the wrong farmhouse, basically. One of the more creepier, mm. uneasy movies I've seen in a while is X. So this is a prequel to X. So one of the characters in the movie X is called Pearl, and this is a movie about her. So this comes out uh, this weekend also, so tomorrow as well in theaters. So they're advertising this now. So. Again, this looks. She's an interesting character. Looks weird and bizarre. So I, I'm interested. I don't know if I'm gonna go see it in the theater, but I definitely want to check it out. And when I just caught the tra- smile, I wonder if you saw the trailer for this here. So it's a it's that was freaky. That that's a very yeah. ring esque uh, type feel to it. Yeah, it comes out the end of the month here. Let's see. Uh, I'm reading the little blurb here on ign.com. After witnessing a bizarre traumatic incident involving a patient, Dr. Rose Cotter starts experimenting frightening occurrences that she can't explain. So it's like this, she has a, like a smile. It's just, it looks weird. The smile is very creepy and I don't know, looks, looks odd. And also in time for Halloween, a couple other ones here. Halloween ends that comes out. Have that mark here. 14th. So Jamie Lee Curtis. Laurie Strode, Michael Myers. It is the final movie in this particular storyline. So, uh, will they reboot it in the future? Probably, as long as it's making money somehow. But uh, it appears to be the end of this storyline of Laurie Strode versus Michael Myers. Uh, looks great. I love Jimmy Lee Curtis in this role. It'll be goofy, fun, Break down craziness. The wall, Brian, you down? Oh, yeah. Let's go see All it for sure. Because okay, oh, we yeah. went to see uh, the last one. You, me, Carter, and I, I think yeah. Peyton and Joey went, I, I believe. Mm, I don't remember, but we we saw some. I don't know if it was that movie we saw, but okay. It, well, I know doesn't you, matter. We you, me, it. and Carter went. I, yes, we should go. We should definitely see the final. Nick and, can come too, but you don't like to hang out with the three of us together. You, no. You're like a whore and just want to sp- <laughs> spend time with only two of us. I need, at a I time. need, I need to eat you all to myself. <laughs> right. Okay. When I'm with you, I need full attention from whichever one of you I'm with at any given Fair time. Enough. And I did. I just caught this uh, as well. I didn't know they were rebooting this. Well, uh, coming on Hulu, October the seventh, they are rebooting Hellraiser. Clive Barker Hellraiser, mm. and Pinhead is played by a female actress, which is fine. But sure, if you've never seen, did you ever see the original Hellraiser, Nick? No, no, I you guys never did. You know, nope. uh, go back. the The first one is is still eerie and creepy and everything else. The Cenobites. So basically the premise is they find this puzzle box and they solve it. And if you solve it, it unleashes the Cenobites from hell who come to, comes into our world and they wreak havoc and everything else. But hmm. uh, very creepy. Kind of, the original still kind of holds up in the creepiness uh, and horror factor. If you're looking for something to go back to the 80s to check out. But Looks cool and creepy. October seventh, Hellraiser. That's a couple. I don't want to monopolize the time. I got more to come back to. But you guys have any more you want to uh, mention? Of your goddamn voice. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> We're getting too many uh, listens right now, so we I've break got, it up uh, a little bit. Go ahead. I've got one on the on the lines of the Halloween <laughs> stuff you're kind of listing off here. Uh, Hocus Pocus two is coming out. In yeah, a couple that's weeks, right. I believe. So that'll be kind of. How the fun. fuck did we let him um, go? <laughs> Hocus Pocus, dude. You talking about the children's movie? Yeah, yeah. Huh? That okay. was one. Same deal. I think I September thirtieth, Nick. I on saw Disney it Plus. for the first time 
uh, when I was a kid, but I saw it for the second time, like the night after we recorded our first ever podcast. And it was kind of one of those ones where I'm like, this is pretty good. Like I didn't, it was like the nightmare before Christmas. When I saw it when I was a kid, I was like, it's fine. It's a kid's movie. It was Halloween, whatever. Um, but as an adult, I was like, no, this is like, I get why so many people love it. And it is a classic. It's a good, it's a good movie. It's pretty decent. So I'm actually now kind of looking forward to the second one. It's been so many years since the last one that it'll be kind of fun. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Okay. <clears throat> Never saw the first one, but I guess it looks, it does look like fun. It's just a nice, probably yeah. a family, family friendly movie for sure. I would assume. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to stick with, um, with TV. Uh, we'll we'll do new. Uh, interview with the vampire on AMC. Mm-hmm. I have that yes. one written down as well. Yep. Ah, that looks good. I'm, I I DVR set for it. I can't wait. Yeah, Nick and I talked about this one. So I mm-hmm. I I did not find the reason to to reboot that from the movie because the movie was so right. good. I but, agree. Uh, yeah, I can agree with that. Like if somebody said, "What movie are you, do you need, or what TV show or movie needs a reboot?" It would not be on my list, but they did it, so why not? I, yeah. I, the book was great. Uh, I've read a f- couple of the books. Um, mm-hmm. I said, it's probably and, a lot more that they can draw from to make a TV series out correct. of than what they can cram into a movie. So, you know, there's that. Correct. Yeah, that that's what I'm looking forward to, Okay, is, is what all they can put into this. Yeah, it, it, yeah I'm not opposed. Because I'm not they, totally they opposed, can... But... If the, if the if it's a hit, they could actually span it through all the books. You know, Queen of the Damned, excuse me, Vampire Lestat. Um, there, there's such a, a, a wide range of things they can do with these characters if this mm-hmm. show catches on. Because AMC is fam- famous for taking these shows and branching off and and doing the you know taking this story and putting it into this show and and I feel this. Um, Anne Rice's uh, vampire stat books, because regardless of the movie, Louis was not the main, isn't the main character of the of the franchise. Lestat mm-hmm. is, so I'm hoping that this does that, and 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 it can branch off and give all of these different books their uh, just due. It won't top Nick and I's pilot idea we came up with uh, when you were away, Dean. And, right, and it was. We mentioned it before, but the Bachelorette vampire. So yeah, that would be perfect. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Yep, you're the okay. Bachelorette. You're the Bachelorette. Yep. Except the the caveat is one of the bachelors is a vampire. You don't know which mm-hmm. one. I like that. Got to figure out which one. Yep, I like mm-hmm. that. I'm still waiting yep. to hear back from from the uh, production companies about that and see if any we're going to get picked up. For We've that. written several emails. Yeah, yes, several yeah. emails, and it and might not, not be seeing them. Yeah, yeah, you're not going to see it on this year's fall lineup, but let maybe keep an eye out next year. Sure. <laughs> Clearly, you haven't seen this email <laughs> yet. And so... you know, and I do, and Brian does, it's fucking gold. You are passing up on a literal gold mine here. We're going to see I, it out there. God I understand. Yeah, I, I, I do. It. I do understand that uh, you probably haven't answered me because your breath has been taken away by reading the pitch. Right. Right. I get that. Yeah. Clear. But... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, I, I caught one or two guys. Uh, this is this is late fall, getting into December, so it's not winter time yet. But uh, definitely getting starting to get some more into the Christmas season here. I caught the write up of this one here. Violent night. Okay, this is going to be. <laughs> uh, 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 this it almost sounds like a made up. It does. I say back in the okay. day when we still had DVDs, that's a straight to DVD movie. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's like if you, 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 ever, you ever play uh, like with American Sasquatch or whatever. <laughs> you ever play the game Balderdash, guys? Uh, you know what I'm talking about? No. Balderdash is like the, the original. It sounds like something you would say about something Dean said. Balderdash. <laughs> it is. You know what? We should play that's this actually game. Very accurate. In all seriousness, I will bring this when we have another game night at you or wherever. But because it's it's it, the whole You'd premise is can you come lie? To one first. <laughs> can you effectively lie? Is really the premise of the game. So like it gives you the you know, the original game was it was like a word, and you everybody submits a definition to the word. So you're trying to write a definition that people's going to pick. They they think is the real one, mm. but that, I have an expanded version of it to where it has like movie titles, mm. actual movie titles. And you're trying to write the plot of the movie and see if people will guess the plot. This sounds like okay. one of those 
write-ups that you might submit in the game of Balderdash here. So <laughs> Violent Night, Stranger Things actor David Harbour. So he's the the cop. He's also the guy that played the Crimson uh, H- Hopper. Yeah, you know, what a, the, in the Black Widow movie? Yeah, but uh, and he will also so, be reprising that role in the Thunderbolts. Yes, that's right. Very excited for that too. Uh, next year that comes out, I think next year. Anyhow, something like that. He plays the role of Santa Claus in Violent Night, where Jolly Saint Nick fights back and saves the day after a group of mercenaries attacks the estate of a wealthy family on Christmas Eve. What else do you want? You sure. know what I'm saying? So yeah. John Leguizamo, Cam, I don't know this guy, Beverly D'Angelo are in this from oh, you know, nice. from from the Christmas Vacation and Vacation movies. I'm there. I'm watching this movie. I don't care. That's it. Sounds like a lot of weird holiday fun. So, how about All that? Right. I like Violent it. Night. Yeah, Violent, Violent Night. Night. I like it. Kind of mm-hmm. reminds me. I uh, I was watching uh, some sort of thing on cable. I think it was TNT or TBS, and whatever I was watching ended. So and then you see immediately see the whatever production thing for the next movie coming up, and you're waiting. And it's a Christmas theme. The family's down there eat, uh, having Christmas dinner and snowing outside in the exterior. And then through the chimney, rustling, 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 rustling. And here comes down Santa Claus. Uh, and then that's where they plop up the title. And it's Claus is spelled C-L-A-W-S. <laughs> and it is professional wrestler Bill Goldberg as Santa Claus. And he kills the entire family. And then they start the movie. There you go. Yep. I didn't finish it. I didn't, I didn't go any further. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, no, thank you. And uh, yeah. So, but yeah, it's that, that sounds bit like that to me. Yeah, I'm sensing a holiday special. We'll talk about some of the crazy, maybe Christmas yeah. movies over like Silent Night, Deadly Night, stuff like that. But it's right. all on the same, same vein. <laughs> Anything else, guys, you're looking forward to? Um, okay, uh, real quick. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna rattle them off. Weird Al's coming on November fourth. I, I oh, don't yeah. remember the uh, the what app that's on. But Weird Al I just Al. premiered at TIFF last weekend. Yeah, it just on okay. streaming. It's gonna come to streaming. I, it yeah, might but be I can't Netflix remember which one. YouTube it's, it's, TV. I think that's what it is. Okay, sure. Uh, I know it's a kids movie. I'm not much for doing kids movies, but Pinocchio looks cool. It's playing now oh, on uh, Disney Plus. Yeah, Robin watched it last night. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you- I'll give you a quick review of that, because I told Allie about that last Friday at the game. Yeah. And she says, wait a minute, they're making a live-action Pinocchio. I said, yeah, with Tom Hanks. And she said, that sounds completely unsettling and unnecessary. And she said, shame on Tom Hanks. <laughs> shame on <laughs> He does not need the money. You and McGregor, you and McGregor, uh, <laughs> Obi Wan Kenobi plays Jiminy, the voice of Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So, so I was sharing your review on the show. If it ever comes up, I'm, I'm going to share your pretty and I did, and I was able to do that. Thank there you. There we much. go. Shame I feel on like Tom Hanks. Allie shame is the on only Dan one Hanks. wholesome enough to be able to say shame on Tom Hanks. That's she's right. the only That's, person on the face of the earth true. that is well, lovely it. and wholesome enough to say shame on Tom yep. Hanks. Yep. And I feel like, yeah, maybe, maybe shame on Tom Hanks actually. <laughs> Even though Tom Hanks himself is quite wholesome and lovely, but <laughs> maybe shame on Tom Hanks. Shame on Tom Hanks. He doesn't need the money. I can see it on no. the Variety magazine cover. <laughs> Critics <laughs> rave shame on Tom Hanks. <laughs> the big pin uh, yeah. Billboard. Uh, yep, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he doesn't I got, need the money. Tom Hanks probably would love that. Anyway. I've got two more. Mm-hmm. Have you guys seen the previews uh, for See How They Run? No. I it don't is, think so. It is a very wacky um, it, uh, period piece comedy. Uh, Adrian Brody, Sam, uh, Sam Rockwell, mm-hmm. Samir Ronan. Um, a, guy, a couple guys get accused of murder, so they go ahead and, and uh, it's them just fumbling their way through trying to clear their name. <laughs> it's very Knives Out feel to it um it it looks funny I, it, it looks very strange and funny uh so i i'm looking forward to that and then my final one um not a lot of people know this and and i, I you know i 
it's not going to come to new to anybody, but I am looking forward to coming up soon. Sleeping with dudes. The dates. Oh. Yes, and it's like an improv show here. Yes, and. <laughs> yes, and the Convincing Idiots 100th or, uh, or, or, or uh, uh, year two. <laughs> That's right. Season two starting. Uh, You're November looking forward to that, something. eh? Because Brian and I were kind of like, uh, it's all another season. There we go. Boys it'll and girls. Be, it'll be the start of season three, is what it'll be. Right, right. but it, this, yes, the start of season three. Yes, that's like that's like mid October, by the way, guys. That's around the sixteenth or so of October. That's coming up yeah, about a month it, from now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yep. we will probably do a live episode naked. Uh, you know, we'll iron out the details. Sure. And mm-hmm. With it being Brian, he's old. There's going to be a lot of ironing because there's a lot of wrinkles. <laughs> That's right. That's right. There's going to be with our shirts off. There's going to be a lot of uh, wrinkles. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of ink, N- nipples right? to knees, nipples. That's right. A lot of ink <laughs> exposure. Mm-hmm. And sp- and speaking uh, speaking of ink exposure, gentlemen, I want you to go check out our. Our sponsor, Golden Heart Tattoo, over in the uh, Norton area. Um, call them at 234 706 2982. You can also check out their website, Golden Heart Tattoos, one word, dot com. They're also out there on Facebook. So, artist Scott Oswald and his partners uh, have done some great work on us. So, matter of fact, again, you can see more of this work. If you tune into our uh, two-year anniversary, what will be uh, completely nude, as Dean as Dean has uh, has, has <laughs> mentioned here, and we're not sure what you're going to see, but uh, at you, least you'll see you a can lot even more turn it on and look at us, and you still won't, don't know what you're looking at. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that is right. Uh, I, one thing I, I forgot to, uh, to come here, guys. I forgot a Star Wars property that's coming out here very soon. Andor. Oh yeah. Andor is coming to uh, I didn't Disney forget. Plus. I just didn't write it down. <laughs> yeah, September twenty first. You didn't write Disney anything Plus. down. <laughs> I, I'm interested. I, you know, I did like Rogue One of the of all the the, uh, the different. Yeah, it it's just too. The interesting storyline. The characters were great. Uh, I'm interested in this. I'm gonna I'm gonna check this out. So there's Andor. another one coming out too. It it's um it's it's a cartoon, but it's uh a bunch of short stories about different characters. The one they're promoting is it's a backstory to Count Dooku. Okay, hmm. I like that. So I can't something about the Jedi or something in the Force. I don't know, but it's 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 a cartoon coming out that it's going to be again Disney Plus. Uh, that it's just a bunch of short stories I about like different characters. We've mentioned this before, too, coming to Netflix. Uh, uh, I don't know the exact date here just yet, but Wednesday. So it's a story about Wednesday Adams. So, Didn't you just tell us when it was? This guy yeah. doesn't even know how to do fucking write a promo. <laughs> no, but Wednesday Adams goes to like a, a, a modern private school, and you know, she's like a, she doesn't fit in anywhere. She's a weird, creepy girl, obviously, and then she... They put her in some type of special academy with other kind of weird kids and stuff like that. But looks like a lot of fun. And Catherine Zeta-Jones plays Morticia, and Luis Guzman plays uh, I love Gomez. That guy. Yeah, so I think it's going to be. Uh, I, I'm interested in this here. It comes out uh, f- fairly soon on on Netflix here. So cool. a lot of stuff. Anything else you guys want to mention? There's probably tons more. Oh, we can get there's into, a, pro- but, a shit ton more, but. Uh, yeah. We don't have the time to cover it. Yeah, I'll just say, uh, just to shout out a couple of things that I'm looking forward to. They're not new by any stretch, but Saturday Night Live is going to have a big turnover this year with a lot of the cast yes. that left, and I watch yes. it every year. So mm-hmm. um, I'm but excited I'm... to see the new the new uh, people that come in and, Me and too. all that good stuff. So, Have you guys heard they... the rumor that it might be moving to Peacock? Uh, okay, After so that season? makes sense because Lane's been watching a lot of SNL, and he was like, Dad, it says that, like, all these episodes expire on Monday. So, like, coming this Monday, they're not, like, all of the past, like, well, every the, SNL season's not going to be on there. So the I assume that, that I means heard, that's what's well, happening. No, well, they do this season coming up, but it would be the next season 
again, just the rumor. I but don't I'm know how true all it is. The past, and... All the past seasons that are on Hulu right now sure. are not going to be there after Monday. So right. I'm assuming oh, that's because they're moving they're strictly going to Peacock. Peacock. Yep. I would imagine. Sense. Yeah. So that would kind of shed some light on that. That would be dumb. Yeah. If they put the new episodes on Peacock only. Because then I have to get it. I, I will have to. I'll just cancel something else and be like, whatever. Yeah. I don't know. But. And or then you just do hand stuff, or you do hand stuff to me and get my uh, login information. There, there you go. Oh, you have Peacock. Yeah. All right. Cool. Good. We're good. It's Brian, it's, I'll get it's it also you. part of the WWE <laughs> network. <laughs> I'll kill Brian. That's fine. No, I'll give well, Dean. I'll give to you. He has to do his own hand stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you get to get Dean to give you a password. Like I guess you can do hand stuff. You could do, mm-hmm. you know, maybe give him a a a bottle of booze. Something sure. like that. Sure. You can, and you may take that booze perhaps from your very own floating liquor cabinet yes. created by our final sponsor of the show, Bellmark Amazon Stores, B E L L E M A R K. Uh, check them out. They, they specialize in fine wood products for your enjoyment. So, again, they sp- uh, floating liquor cabinet, as I said before, I have one downstairs I've mentioned previously. It looks great. Um, floating nightstands and beautiful looking countertop compost bins for your kitchen counter, two sizes. Everything's delivered quickly, conveniently, and affordably right through the Amazon delivery service. Go check them out on the Amazon stores. Nice. There you go. Yep. Well, guys. Wonderful. That's right. We've lo- we're looking forward to a lot of stuff, and I'm sure our listeners might be looking forward to the end of another episode of Convincing Idiots. So, Nick? Yes? I don't know if you got what you guys want to do from a, a outro, if you want to do something. And then, Dean, you have a suggestion, sir, please. I do. All right, ahead. <laughs> I what is your would, suggestion? Well, since this is the uh, preview show, mm-hmm. um, maybe you do it like the like a voiceover movie guy uh, mm. doing a. a ah, a, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Coming soon, All right. or you All know, right. that, yeah, that, that sure. type deal, or like however this. you envision. Absolutely, sir? sure. All By right. All means. Coming this fall to a podcast platform near you. Season 3 of Convincing Idiots. If you haven't been caught up on all the action of the past two seasons, fear not. You can simply find all of that information over on Convincing Idiots' very own link tree. That's right. You, today, with the power of your computer, can Google Convincing Idiots WordPress. (laughs) And there you will find all of the information that I have to stop and think about. <laughs> you can also find that information on their very own website. Just be sure to head on over to convincingidiots.wordpress.com today to get your hands on the newest episode of Convincing Idiots. So, for this week's episode, I am a millennial named Nick. And this is the Zenial Dean. And I am the Gen X Brian. Have we convinced you that convincing idiots will continue on their reign of terror over Podland, or will they crash and burn? Find out this fall. Did you just see that shit? If you liked what you saw, like and subscribe. Come back. You're going to want to.
Coming up this week on Convincing Idiots, you have, as always, Idiots Review. You have, We talk about the Emmys. You want to hear about the Emmys? Did you not watch it? We will let you know the winners and losers from these losers. Uh, Nick, do we have a fall preview? We do. We, thank you. Nick is in. <laughs> if you want to hear a, a, the, the, the oh. voice of the fall preview... Stay tuned. Uh, Monday morning, the this starts your the week just right, the perfect way. So, ladies and gentlemen, stay you know join with us to fucking convincing it. Right, that, uh, that was so no, 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 I I, so I hated so it halfway close. through. I, I I knew that was sorry. Me. I didn't. Uh... This this feather has been poking my fucking back all night. Why are out. you growing feathers? Wow. <laughs> this week neat. on Convincing Idiots, <laughs> Dean is turning into a fucking chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Furry and tummies. we don't know why. Furry tummies and chicken feathers. <laughs> Furry tummies and chicken feathers. I think we just have the, the name of the episode, gentlemen. <laughs> Furry tummies and chicken feathers.